हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स बाय अमूल्स एकेडमी सो इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट वेज टू क्रिएट अरेस एंड एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ अरे सो नेक्स्ट वील टॉक अबाउट दी स्लाइसिंग एंड इंडेक्सिंग ऑपरेशन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क विद दि सबसेट ऑफ अरे और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट दि सब अरे फ्रॉम दि अरे देन यू नीड टू यूज दीज टू ऑपरेशन so today in this tutorial we are talking about the indexing in the next tutorial we'll talk about the slicing operation so indexing similar to list we can access the element of array using index we can access single element at a time using indexing and elements of this numpy arrays follows zero based indexing so that is nothing but the first element index will be zero and we can use negative index to access the element from these numpy arrays next we'll see how to apply this indexing operation on one dimensional array or we can say how to access the element from one dimensional array so one dimensional array will look like this and here we can see the positive indexing the index begin from 0 and as i said we can use negative indexing here so here we can see the negative index so the last element will be minus 1 and minus 2 minus 3 like this and if i give the array name as a and if you want to access any element from this array then you should mention the array name square bracket and here you should mention the index for example if i want to access value 4 okay so i should mention a and its index is 3 so a of 3 so i'll get 4 or if you want to use the negative indexing then you should mention a of minus 4 so we can use the positive indexing or negative indexing to access the element from the one dimensional array this is simple and it is similar to the list indexing right so we'll see the example now and i'll create array called a and i'll create this array from a list okay i'll use array function so if i see array now like this if i want to access the element that is 4 so 0 1 2 3 the index will be 3 so a of 3 enter it will give 4 if you want to use negative indexing then minus 1 minus 2 4 so if you check a of 0 that will be the first value of the array 1 in this way we can access the element from the 1d array next we'll talk about the two dimensional array two dimensional array will look like this okay it contains row and columns so two dimensional array is nothing but array within a array and if you want to access any element so if the array name is a then i should mention a array name and okay if you want to access the elements you should mention the row and column or we can say here i and j for example if you want to access the value 2 then i should mention a and i value is 0 j value is 1 i'll get 2 so these minus values here we can say so these are the negative index so if you want to access Two using negative index, then you should mention a, and row is minus three, and column is minus one. In this way, you need to access the elements in the two-dimensional array. So now, if you ask how to give negative indexing, then the last element will be minus one, minus two, minus three, and here also minus one, minus two. Okay, don't mix negative and positive indexing. to access the element either use positive indexing or negative indexing so let's see the example then so if i check b okay here we can see the two dimensional array so we created array from the nested list so now if i want to access 1 okay so i need to mention the array name b and here 0 and 0 0 row and 0th column right 
so if you want to do this using negative indexing then minus 2 and minus 2 right if you just mention only one index like this if I mention just one and enter I'll get 3 and 4 that is something but it will be the row value if I just mention one so it will print the element present in the row 1 so I'll get 3 and 4 this is about how we can access elements in the two-dimensional array next let's talk about the three-dimensional array so this indexing in the three-dimensional array is little bit complex here this three-dimensional array somewhat looks like this i j k three-dimensional so three-dimensional array is nothing but 2d array within an array so here i is nothing but number of arrays number of 2d arrays j will be the row and k will be the column if i create a three dimensional array like this so here i expanded this picture so that i can show you all the values here if i write the shape of this array it is 2 comma number of row is 3 and 4 shape of this three dimensional array is 2 3 4 because here we can see number of 2d arrays 2 1 and 2 and number of rows in each array is 3 and number of column is 4 so 2 3 4 and if I want to access any element from 3d arrays then we should mention the array name if I take array name as a then here I should mention the 3 index if I want to access a single element then first I need to mention i value j value and k value for example if I want to access this 2 so first I need to write i value what is i here it is 0 for this two dimensional array i is 0 for this two dimensional array i is 1 so to get this a of 0 i value is 0 next what is the row value 0 what is the k value that is 1 so this is the index to get element 2 and here we can see the negative index also and if you want to try the negative index then here so i the negative index for this two dimensional array is minus 2 because this is minus 1 this will be minus 2 so minus 2 next here row is minus 3 and for column here i wrote this here okay minus 3 so you should write like this so this is the way to access the single element from the three dimensional array so we'll see the example now so first i'll create a nested nested list okay so here okay so now i'll create array d np dot array from c so if i check d here we can see it is the same array in the diagram okay the shape is two three four this is the first two dimensional array and this is the second two dimensional array here i is equal to 0 and here i is equal to 1 and next it contains rows and column so next if i want to access 2 here to access 2 i need to mention a of 0 0 1 so i'll write that so here array name is d so d of 0 0 and 1 we can get to right now if i want to check the negative indexing here you can say minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 3 2 okay in this way you can access element if i want to access 16 it is easy to check in the diagram right so if i want to right 16 so here we can see i value is 1 so a of 1 so j value is 0 it is the row value k is 3 so i need to mention 1 0 3 16 so next if i just mention d of 0 and enter we'll get this two dimensional array that is nothing but d of i value d of 0 and 1 i'll get 5 6 7 8 
so that is nothing but I mentioned d of 0 so i value is 0 that is nothing but this two dimensional array in that I mentioned 1 that is the row value so this so we got this row so in this way we can access the elements from the three dimensional array so next we'll talk about the slicing in the next tutorial so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care